How you doing, Dennis? Busy. Oh, okay. man. There's a couple sheets there. Alright. She's rough. Oh, yeah. I know. Hmm. That's crazy because he just put this ceiling in what five years ago. Oh yeah, that I would just see tearing this whole section out, making it more back into the shop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can just see ripping this all out, taking it out, using like I said, back more of the shop. Well, he he put tube heaters in here. Let's just be in this corner. Uh, this must be where they work mostly. Yeah. So back in the day when the dealership had this, the paint booth was right here. On this corner? Yeah. Still a lot of cleanup. Oh yeah. You know, what they did in here, small engine repair or whatever, to me it would be the same as what you're doing. Uh, I've already called the city on it. What did they say? 100% go for it. Really? Yep, 100%. I can do every bit of what I do here um it's zoned for anything and everything i can run a sheet metal fab shop here if i wanted to uh the restoration no problem he said painting's 100 percent approved okay yeah because realistically i don't see it being any different than what they did in here right you know, like i said i'd rip that old office crap out go back to the front whatever so i guess the biggest worst so we know it's got to have a water leak over there somewhere on this metal roof, right? Yeah, probably right at that vent, Actually, run down and across. Right there at that drain pipe. Yep. Yeah, you can All see right. that's an easy fix. Wood. Yeah, the rest, the rest of the roof looks decent. That is right there at that corner. Yep. It said something about a major leak in the where the Quonset goes to the showroom. There is supposed to be a run channel between them, uh -huh. and I think about I don't know, 18 years ago, we had a big storm and it ripped it. It's been leaking ever since. So that's where this water's coming from? Yeah, coming out of the office. All this would have to go. All worked out? Yeah, every bit of that would have to disappear. A nice floor drain right down through the middles. Yeah, that's huge too. <coughs> Man, he's got heaters everywhere in here one two three four yeah well if you're looking you're seeing no insulation right yeah there's no insulation back here but the beams look good we got those railroad beams in it yeah those railroad truss beams i guess that's why you used to do the concerts well, see, I could put a trolley in here, too. <laughs> oh. Now, see, the last time I was in this building, you couldn't even tell this area was here. It's full of stuff? Yeah. Really? They had stuff packed out. I didn't even know this drain was here. It was packed out so much that you had a walkway from that door. You come in over this way just a little bit and you couldn't see nothing on that side, nothing on this side. So it's like, yeah, I wanted to get an eyeball in here 
I honestly figured he would have had more cleared out. Yeah, it would be kind of neat if you guys would use this showroom again. Well, that was the plan. Uh, depending on the cost of repairing the roof and everything, it's damaged. Oh, yeah, that's all got to be gutted. Oh, yeah, it's all got to be ripped out. <laughs> Bathroom ain't no better than the one I got now. That'll change. Oh, yeah. So there's your leak. So there's your problem right here where it butts up. Yep. Let's see. Probably have a bit of woodwork to redo. But honestly, the trusses going across don't look hateful. This is having a lift and just ripping it out, isn't it? Yeah. Running a lift for a day, just dropping the drop ceiling. See what you got. Yeah, it's all right there. Rip all the electric out of it. Now this part, we do it. And honestly, out here wouldn't even need insulated because all that it'd be is showroom. I'd never be up here. Just bring your cars through the door there. Yeah. You're going to park in here store. Yep. For show or whatever. Put a regular garage door in there. Well, I measured this out. The showroom was 23 foot deep and 48 foot to there. Yeah, but your old truck and the old, your white car and everything that gets yep. in up here. Yep. Well, I figured probably the Blue Mule, the Fury, the Crew Cab, and then Blown Budget would set perfect up here. Of course, Crew Cab, it has to set on this side because it's closest to the door. <laughs> It'd be harder to get in and out all the way up here. So you put the new motor in that truck then? Or yeah. had it rebuilt? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I kind of would like to have that. My daughter kind of got me on that one. Took a year to find a motor. Where'd you find one at? Uh, up in Toledo. Okay. So you didn't have to go so far. Yeah, the other, the other motor I found was in South Carolina. 2012, from April to December was one year only. And that one was made in June. So, yeah, <laughs> it was not a good experience. Oh, yeah, pure mold. Oh, yeah, this all has to be just totally gutted. Man, yeah, this one, you got to really have a ventilation respirator or something. Yeah, I, I just probably have weight or somebody drop a dumpster and just drop it all. Bring a skid loader in here with a mask and rip it out. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it's not gonna be a fun job. I don't know if they can see that or not. <laughs> huh? I don't know if the camera oh. can see it or not. Definitely got a lot of work to do. It'd be a cool building to bring back to life. You know? Yeah, I would love to keep it looking just like this. But like, me and Tanya was talking. You gotta play it smart on the finances too because if it's too expensive to repair this showroom, it'd have to go.
Yeah, but I think also the way you're, you're going about, well, see that window's about to fall out right there. Yeah, this one over here is broke. That one up there is broke. Yeah, you don't want to set the panel those when you're kind of paneled. Yeah. Leave a couple in. But yeah, that, that's hard as well. Oh, there. I would probably do a knee wall to stabilize the bottom half. Yeah. And then fill the top ones in. Yeah, see this, this is all open out into the shop right here. So this could be open back up. Yeah. All this. See, I think what part of the issue was, was they cut all these openings in here and probably didn't put the proper headers up. Yeah, that's what's going on right there. Oh, it's all dropped. Yep. Yeah. And here's the drain from the Quonset part to the showroom. Man. Oh, it's a major hole there. Now, I was kind of hoping it'd be a better weather day. I'd get up there and look at that, but I don't know if I'd want to trust getting up there. Every bit of this come out. Wouldn't even yeah. rebuild it. Just it's just taking up too much shop space. Yep. Yeah, you can put your little ten by ten office area or whatever. Yeah. You put in up towards that front corner there and be done with it. I'd probably do where the rest is at. Twelve by twenty or something like that, like right in here. Yeah. Uh, Leave it that on way Tanya side. can have a desk and I can have a desk. And then that would open up all this back into shop. I wonder if you can see more up top. Watch them steps right there. Yeah. Okay. And hard to see up here. Oh yeah, right there. I guess I could have brought a better flashlight, huh? There you go. Separated from the well, it's supported good enough between the two, it's just the uh joint getting to it, right? Yeah, right at the joint, it's leaking. And if they had it took care of that 15 18 years ago, they wouldn't have the problem, got yeah, yeah. Yep. There's plenty of storage up here. My flashlight ain't worth a crap. <coughs> There's a lot of weight up here, really. Yeah, there is. 
Well, dang, there's another set of steps over here. Okay, this is above the work area storage. Yeah, I can keep all my body panels and all the stock up here. Well, there's the oh, good. button wires. So they ripped them off? They're right here. Oh, are they? Okay. Old style. Oh, wow. Yeah. Does it say the actual building size? I measured it out, but it was quick. Total square foot. Because I measured the Quonset area as 60 foot across by 100 foot long. That'd be 6,000. And then. 1,100 square foot for your. Yeah. So, yeah, they're pretty close on that, huh? Yeah. That's probably what they pulled right off the auditor's website. So, if you went to Shelby County Auditor. They pulled up that address and everything. Yeah. It's going to give you the whole layout of the property. So I think it's what, lot size is 160 by 160? Mm hmm. And then they're going to, that would be pulled up as the square footage of the building. Well, if the show. lot size is 160 by 160, that explains why the parking lot behind it has a split down the middle of two different types of blacktop. Because that'd be part of this. Because I know to the back of the building, or back of the grass is not 160 foot. And you're basically going over to the fence. Right. And you got what, maybe 10 feet on that side? Yeah. If that. Mm hmm. Yeah, here's. Where I said this was all open, this is that wall. Yep. And see, you rip all that out of there, that gains a bunch of shop space. Oh, yeah, that's why I say you could put your an office in that corner over there, like you said. Yeah. Put a bathroom and office area over there, like you said, what did you say, 10 by 20 or something like that? Yeah. That could all stay on that far wall. You could open all of this up. And if you didn't want to bring your cars in, if you wanted to close that all off over there, you could actually open this up enough right here and put a garage door yeah. and bring your cars in right here. Come in from here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then you could put a swing door in if you want. Yeah. To. But you. It's interior. Yeah. Put you like a barn door or a slider going into it. Then you close the front of it completely off. Well, I like it. It's a lot of work before I'm even legally allowed to move in. So as far as like that, code violations, whatever, I mean, you got a lot of work to do before you can move your business in. Do you have to have it re-inspected before you brought anything yeah. in? So if you yeah. want to do a paint room and all that stuff, that's got to be kind of inspected because you're going to put exhaust fans in and all yeah. that kind of crap. <laughs> the thing about commercial, you got to have everything inspected. Yeah. Yeah, realistically, I don't mean, I don't know what doors you would want. You can keep the tall door there. Close that door off down there. No, nah, I'd need that door. Or that door. When customers bring their vehicles, they could just pull, pull in and drop them. Because <laughs> you can't block that road. Right. To unload. Sometimes it'll take an hour, hour and a half to unload, depending on 
how far they've got them disassembled. Right, I just wonder if that would be the best place to unload too. Well, see, I was kind of thinking they could pull in right there, oh, unload, and then pull out and oh. around. So you try to keep that the center of the bay open. For yeah, all that. yeah. I would book kind of like they did. They had the bays there. I'd probably do something like that. Have bays on the side. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and then the paint booth. I could have five bays right there plus the paint booth. Rip all that out because that's, that's bad. Put all the sheet metal fabrication in that corner because you don't use it often. Yeah, yeah, you got slow, you could do some simple side work right here in the front. Yep. Quick, quick jobs. Hmm. Well, I think I've seen about enough. Well, if there's anything else you want to see or come back and check out, so let me know. Well, uh, I'll be getting back with you on that for sure. Because I know definitely Tanya will want to come look at it. Okay. And Dad will want to come look at it. So they must have threw the privacy fence up to hide their stuff? Yeah, uh, the city come in and red flagged the door and told him until he gets this mess cleaned up or hidden, he's out of business. They put that up in a weekend around everything. He must have got used fence because I can't see it dilapidating that bad out in the open in yeah. four or five years. Yeah. But if that's that prefab fencing that they didn't put together by staples and shit, yeah. it's not actually screwed in or nothing. Yeah. If he didn't treat it whatsoever, which is hard to tell, it looks like it might throw some paint on it, but if it wasn't treated whatsoever. And then, Hard to tell what all was being backed into and hit around. Yeah. Man, he's got cable wires everywhere. Oh, in yeah, here. you got a ton of cable wire. Rip all that out because I don't want no part of Spectrum. Well, that, you know, Wi Fi now. Yeah. Now I go through NK Telco. Yeah, we, you have the one main line come in and yep. Wi Fi. And you can move it anywhere. Yeah.